So I'm out uh, camping with Buddy and uh, on his property, and where they tore down a bunch of power lines, they, uh, they left some junk back here. And to any of you Chevelle enthusiasts, no, that's a 70 Chevelle front bumper. So I got the young man here, me and him just pulled out this, uh, what looks to be an original, probably SS 70 Chevelle front core support and fender. I'm saying it's a SS because it, you see the hood pin. And then anybody that knows these core supports knows that if you have a small block or uh, six cylinder car, that little section there usually has a plate that goes straight down and you have to cut those out to free up the air for your radiator. This also has the four, four bolts for the uh, radiator hold down. There's another core support for a 70 Chevelle. Here's the front bumper. That, that's probably not savable, but it looks pretty bent. But we, you know, we can clean it up and do some wall art with it. That's the other fender. There's the other fender for it. This fender ain't bad though. I mean, there's some bondage. Looks like uh, looks like they probably were hitting some trees. Yeah, this is an SS fender. That's that's an SS 454 396 freaking holes right there. That's not a Malibu. That's freaking nuts. Maybe you can clean it up and put it on the Chevelle. What do you think, bud? Think? Think it might work? I don't know. She might be too far gone. But We're going to drag her out of the woods look, anyway. Look at that. Looks better than our fender, doesn't it? Yeah. Except for that bondo right there. I don't know what's underneath that. It's got a metal inner fender while it's pretty, pretty uh, rate, weight reduced there. Maybe maybe it'll be for the no, another seventy Chevelle that I buy and use. Yeah, we got a gas tank. There's another bumper up there that up past that bin there that I want to pull out too. I I don't know what it's for though. Even got a little old toaster. Ooh, is that a vintage style gas can? Oh, she ain't anymore. There's a, yeah, there is a bunch of crap back here. Maybe we should grab that toaster. It'd be worth money. Let's go grab that toaster. We'll throw that in the pile. Well, when we, the pile that we're going to put in the back of the truck. But yeah, we're going to pull this stuff out. You said we can have it. If I make any money off it, I'm going to give him a case of bush light. So that's the deal. Probably won't make any money. Probably just use it for wall art, so. Pretty sweet, though. All right. So we got one fender out. And that one's pretty chewy. It's the driver's side one. Um, but we're going to pull the core support. Left that other core support in there. It's pretty rough. Anybody out there that watches this likes 70 Chevelles and needs a core support, let me know. I can get one for you, though. Um, you have to do some cleaning on it. It's not rotted. It's pretty solid still, but the one that's on the fender here is a little better. Nothing like pulling stuff from the grave. So this was an original SS front end. You can tell by the fender and by the core support. So this would have been a big block car because SS's and 70 were all big block. We pulled the bumper out already, and it, the bumper goes to this because the damage on the bumper matches up with the uh, the damage on the front end here. But the core support's still pretty good. Pretty wild. So we're going to pull this up, and then there's another bumper back up in there that I don't know what it's for. It's got a Wisconsin tag on it, though, so we'll check it out.
got this other bumper that we pulled out from this ditch down here. There's a milk jug. Pulled it out of that little badger home down there. There's an inner fender wall. A lot of cool stuff down there. Make me an offer. Ranwin Park. When was it last tagged? Does that say 83? I can't tell. February 83? America's Dairyland. Got my tow rig. Little man's running it. So we're gonna get this up there and try to figure out what kind of car it's off of. Might might be a Ford. Be cool if it was a. I think it's too narrow to be a. Yeah, go ahead. I think it's too narrow to be a uh, Impala. I thought it might have been an Impala bumper. Might be a Pontiac GTO bumper. Who knows? We're gonna look her up. So we got her up. This fender's a little chewy. It's got a hole in it. It would be some good wall art or something. This is actually a 69 GTO bumper. Got that figured out. So, I'm going to load it up. Sweet.